Texas, town about an hour north northwest of Austin, uh, pretty much due east of Colleen, and uh, about 8,000 folks. Uh, Lampasas has the world's largest spur. It's also home for McBride and the Ride if you're into contemporary country music. And really a quaint town with a lot of uh, interesting history, uh, old buildings and hotels, really quite quaint. And that history is due to the springs that are located in the area. And so let's go ahead and take a tour of these springs and start off with Hughes Spring. A fellow by the name of Moses Hughes and his wife moved out here in 1853. Uh, something creepy in his belly. Uh, his wife Hannah and his brother Nimrod settled at these springs and the spring secured Hannah. And that brought a bunch of people out to try these waters and see if they could uh, get cured. A little later on, uh, some folks platted out a town in 1855. It was named Lampasas. 1856, and now heading over to Hancock Springs. In 1882, John and George Hancock sold the springs to a George Porter, who then built this spring house for bathing, both for women and men. You can see the water coming into the Sulphur River there. Uh, it was covered from the elements, uh, built a bridge, um, hooked up to the railroad, this mule-drawn carriage to bring tourists over, and uh, was known as the Saratoga of the South. And, and here's what it looks like today. It was actually pretty uh, um, floody, uh, quite a bit of rain. Uh, by 1920s, the floods had removed the roof of the spring house, but the spring house is still there. These springs flow about 70 gallons per minute, Discharge from Marble Falls limestone, about 1,200 to 1,900 parts per million. Um, that was rededicated in 1948, and uh, LBJ was actually there. You can see the springs uh, heading out of the old portal there. Uh, looked pretty deep down in there, um, 15, 20 feet or so. One of the stairs that could descend into the into one of the pools that were in this original spring house. There's a close-up of the discharge point out of the pool house that's along the river. And uh, here's looking at it the side to see that roiling out there. That's there. Uh, this new building was constructed and a pool was built there. Um, folks talk about it being fed by a spring. I read elsewhere where it was actually fed by a pipe from the springs along the river. Uh, hard to say what, but uh, whatever that water was coming from, it was uh, used for drinking at that point. And uh, oops, I don't know how that got in there. Uh, but here's the drinking spring, uh, kid drinking. And then here's what it looks like today. Um, kind of that keystone spring, bit of a wading pool around there. Uh, fortunately, we had just missed the swimming season, which ended in August. Um, but normally that would be blocked up a little bit. And then here's that pool uh, claims to be the uh, longest running and oldest uh, naturally fed pool in the state. In the distance, you see the discharge point. Now we're over there and you can see the water 
coming out of those springs and then discharging into the Sulphur River. Uh, again, you can kind of see the increased flow from recent rains. There's that spring flow from Hancock Springs going into the Sulphur. Pretty cool. So now let's jump from Hancock Springs over to Hannah Springs. Also issues from the Marble Falls limestone. Used to be surrounded with a bog where a, a bison had apparently died. Um, and John Hanna wound up buying it and built a convention hall and a bathhouse here in 1884. And also built uh, walls around the spring that you see here and the pool was 10 to 16 feet deep. Here you see the uh, bathhouse um, and uh, some additional infrastructure. Again, a bathhouse it was a convention center built there at one point. Um, you could uh, get mineral water and drink it. And here's the drinking pavilion. You actually couldn't swim in the round spring. You got in the, into the building and soaked in tubs of the spring water. Here's what that spring looked like. And, uh, and lo and behold, here it is today. Uh, the buildings are all gone, but the spring is fortunately still there. Closed after 1900, so it's been been closed. It, like the, the bathing facilities have been closed for well over 100 years. But again, the springs still flow. Um, still quite a beautiful feature. There's a fence around it, and uh, imagine if I was a kid, I'd be sneaking in there trying to swim because um, it sure looked pretty inviting, especially on this hot early September day. Uh, back in the old days, it actually did not discharge um, um, out of the pool. It discharged out of a underground pipe that went 200 yards. But uh, these days, it does discharge um, to um, a little drainage that then eventually works its way to the Sulphur River. And uh, here's looking downstream from that discharge point. This water um, was also pretty uh, saline. Here's an old map, and it's kind of cool. You could uh, get a cigar. And then several years ago, they actually were digging in the park, and they found this old cypress trunk pipe that was used to pipe the water from the spring uh, about 200 yards away. And then also the springs are now in a, a park that has a, a quite a bit of sculptures out there for folks to enjoy and peruse so you can actually make a day of it if you'd like so now let's go to our final stop from hannah spring just down the road a little bit to something known as abney's plunge and uh, abney and, and some investors drilled for oil on the site uh, drilled a well 2014 feet deep hit basement granite rocks no oil but they found mineral water and so they built this uh, pavilion over the well and then people would come and partake of the well and it would cure their ailments. There's the well in the distance, uh, additional well was drilled and a pool was built which is what you see there and from that same perspective that's what it looks like today. Pool is long gone, uh, concrete curbs are still there, the well is underneath that uh, uh, new building and uh, sadly um, it is gone. That well, Ellenberger St. Saba, 4600 parts per million. So there you go. Um, that is the story of Lampasas.